to be Alex Ayala. Top of the court to get this match underway. Precise uh, from Omicheya. Omicheya was just outside the uh, top 50 when she was at her highest ranking back in uh, 2013. Well, I think that's evidence of the commentator's curse. I said there was no rain forecast and the rain has just started to come down. Strong start this throw from Omicheya, putting Ayala's uh, no. serve under pressure straight away. Three break points now. See, the rain isn't intensifying for the time being. Let's hope that uh, remains the case. like that. Excellent uh, from yeah. Ayala. Yeah. No return down the line. Omicheya couldn't get to it. Yeah. Too aggressive on that occasion. That's always going to be the, uh, the way the young up-and-coming player. Default setting is always going to be to attack than to try and play in a defensive way. That's something that uh, Omiche may be able to use to her advantage once the serve gets going. Of course, if her serve is too easy to attack, then it could very much work against her. <laughs> Looks like that one might have just surprised Amala a little bit. Perhaps uh, expecting or hoping it uh, to be out. Yeah. Never got much of an edge with her serve there, all Yeah. yeah. Setting the pace in that last point. Just wouldn't go over to uh, Omicheya's side of the net. So Ayala certainly getting uh, closer to uh, getting something from this game than she did on her own serve, but Omache is still in a strong position for two love now. Find a bit of form this week. Player who's likely to be aggressive, likely to play risky shots, but at the same time, perhaps lacking the experience and the confidence on her own serve. So, if Omicheya can manage this match, it can prove to be beneficial for her. Just long. 
Oh, yeah. look. So, chair umpire is going to have a look at this one. He's going to stick with the call. It's going to be uh, love 15. Uh, goes Ayala. Love we'll to see some sunlight over the uh, court again. And that really was a very quick uh, passing bit of drizzle. going for the point and uh, in the end Ayala going long so the youngster here in danger of being broken twice at the start of this match to love great opportunity this for Omicheya to extend her lead at the start of this match with a uh, three love lead at the start of this match she actually looked uh, even more confident on her opponent's serve than she did on her own but she's still looking for another hold here Ayala just hasn't really been able to get into this match They're broken twice already is a point of view it's important that she just gets the basics right gets the serves in doesn't play too many shots long Ayala just needs to have that little bit more confidence to go after her opponent's serve and of course when it gets back to Ayala's serve she needs to be able to uh, trouble a more experienced opponent a lot more than what she has done so far it's the danger with Ayala She's not uh, picking up as many points as she'd like at the start of this match. Trying to take a few more risks. That last uh, backhand was a long way past the baseline. watching it all the way but it is out and just like in the uh, previous Ormichea service game Ayala is trying to stick closer to her opponent any closer than she was on her own serve Just uh, dropping a little bit, and Ayala at the same time going after her serve. A couple of confident points here from the 16 year old, and now she has a break point. Crucial for her, really, to announce herself in this uh, first set. Just asking for clarification. 
Guard chair on fire. Might have been distracted by one of the ball boys. Ball goes dropping the ball. Yeah, yeah. that it might have yeah. rolled into the court. Asking for the uh, point to be replayed. And Zulmichea uses that little pause just to compose herself and finding a big serve. Takes away the break point. Still looking to try and maintain this uh, big lead at the start of this match. Looking to extend it. There from Ayala. Uh, Would have been missing if it was a doubles match. Machea having saved a break point now in a position to hold serve. in a row at the start of this match. Could be a big statement for Mormichea as well. Oh. So from Ayala's point of view, she just has to make sure she gets that ball in. Puts a bit more pressure on Mormichea, just like she did in that last point. An ace uh, from Ayala. She's uh, finding her feet here in this service game so far. Just the start that she wanted. Well, she was uh, broken to love in the first uh, two service games that she had in this match, Ayala. But now she's in a very strong position to hold serve to love. Chair going the, on the attack with the backhand. Vocal response there from Ormichea. She still feels as though that there's a break possible in this game. Certainly had no problems in uh, coping with Ayala's serve in the first two games. Her opponent was serving in. Just feel that uh, from Ayala's point of view, she does have to get this uh, service game over the line. Otherwise, it could be a real dent in her confidence. Well, is putting her in a very tough position in the first set. Well, oh, from 40 love to 40 30. More pressure now on Ayala's serve. Able to break for a third time in a row, but uh, still in a strong position here, leading by a uh, four games to one, serving now for a 5 1 lead. Ah! Just uh, stretching at that one. No. A strange uh, shot selection there from Umichea. Looks to me as though the uh, forehand down the line was the one that was uh, most likely to succeed there. Uh, to that extra bounce in the serve, and Ayala was able to jump on that. Nothing. It just been that the uh, rising star just needed a little bit of time on court, looking a lot more confident now. Oh. 
a role yeah. reversal in the last couple of games. All of a sudden, it's uh, Ayala that's been very precise no. with her returns. And Ormache with a couple of wilder forehands and backhands. And now Ayala with three break points here. Seemingly no time at all. Missing there, trying to go cross court. Still in a good position here, though, Ayala. Feel as though she is favourite to reduce the arrears to a 4 2 from here. Uh, couldn't really get anything going, but uh, a very important hold of serve. Then that break. Now, if she can get a good service game in here, all of a sudden it's a 4 3. And so uh, this first set really has come back to life. Getting those uh, two breaks at the start of the match. Ayala still has some uh, ground to cover in this uh, first set before she's level. unhappy there is she unhappy with uh, a call or a lack of a call or is she unhappy with herself for a positioning on that last shot in any case that was a forced error there at the call to her mercy Macheo started this match by uh, complimenting herself, talking to herself, affirming that she was starting well. Now, she's giving herself a bit more of a telling off here as they are very much coming back into this match. through this uh, service game but uh, still looking very confident here Omicheya just seems to have lost her range in the last couple of games but it's so important now for Ayala whilst her more experienced opponent is having a bit of a lull in the match. She uh, capitalizes on it. Very strong in this service game. Doesn't want to let it get to, uh, to juice. And it won't be. So a real recovery here from Alex. Uh, uh, Ayala showed a real good recovery, having lost the first uh, four games, but Ormachea still with this one-game lead. 
Fukuda. Yala would need to uh, break again to uh, level up this uh, first set. So, uh, former Che can hold here. She still feels as though this first set oh, is very much in her control. Yeah, it's important for Ayala just to uh, remember how she got back into this match. That last shot really was very wayward. Now it's Sil Machea's turn to be very wayward. He pitched that uh, forehand a long way. Machay just playing herself into a bit of a hole here. As I was saying there, ace there from Machay, just to edge ahead in this uh, game. Considering that Sayala really has improved. The last uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, it's important that uh, Machea gets this service game over the line. that Ayala was in control. Machea is trying to right now. So if she can get this hold of serve over the line, gets within one game of the first set. So from saving a break point to now, having the add or Michea, vocalizing that as well. She knows she's in a match. Perhaps that uh, improvement from Ayala has just uh, thrown on Machea here a little bit. Machea tried to get there, but uh, Ayala, again, getting into the ascendancy in that point. Another break point here for Ayala.
Ireland. Four games ago, if you'd have said to me that Ayala would be serving for a lead in this uh, first set, I would have said that seems virtually impossible, but there has been a real turnaround here. Does need a strong service. Gamil Machea will know how to go after the Ayala serve after she did so at the start of this match. Building up a lead here on the Ayala serve. That's a spring and a step that she had in a previous uh, two service games. Ayala just seems to have eluded her at the start here. Just out. Makes such a big difference in terms of this game. Love 40 or 15 30. I'm certainly happy with the second version. Just goes long, just like Umeche in the previous point. It's Ayala's turn this time. But uh, Umeche now does have two break points. The business end of this uh, first set. Big opportunity this for Umeche now. Ayala under a lot of pressure here on her serve. Saves the first of the break points. Yeah, yeah, Just a little bit uh, slow in getting yeah, to that yeah. one. <laughs> 